Happy New Year everyone, I hope you're doing well. I say Happy New Year, but it's actually the second week of January right now. I don't even know what the date is today, but it's a Wednesday. I did plan to start this vlog on Monday, but I just didn't for no particular reason. So I thought why not quickly do the washing up, we have a little catch up. I hope the start of your new year has been really good. I haven't had the best start to the new year to be honest with you. Let me just move the camera. I thought I would start the new year feeling super pumped, really motivated, smashing out like social media content and basically just jumping back on the bandwagon of everything. But I just really haven't and I've just felt really sluggish and I just decided to have a slow start to the year. I got a few of my deliveries come through this week that I've been waiting for and actually it's so funny because I ordered from Dunelm before the new year like Boxing Day sales time and it just didn't arrive it was supposed to arrive before the new year it didn't come so they sent me out a new one and that came and then today the other one came so now I have like duplicate of what I ordered I haven't actually really set any resolutions this year I feel like because I've already been working on my long-term goals from last year and they kind of still stand it's like 2022 I was already working on my goals and then it's like 2023 is just a continuation of those exact same goals and plans and stuff like that so honestly even though it's a new year I don't feel like anything has massively changed for me so i don't know if you guys have any new year's resolutions if you do i mean let me know in the comments what your resolutions are i decided to empty this cupboard to re wipe it down and reorganize it and i've just left everything on the side so i need to i'm just gonna make myself a snack i don't even know what the time is right now so i just quickly put the big light on just to show you guys um the, some of the things that i got also look at my life right now i have all this laundry that needs to be put away it's absolutely ridiculous and more hanging up i can't but i found this in aldi the other day i've been needing to get a draft excluder for under the door so you see like there's a gap under the door and the front door as well there's a gap and a draft comes through so i got this it was a fiver in aldi like i'm really shocked i wasn't actually going to buy this i just went to have a browse in the middle aisle and i saw this and i was like okay and you could just cut it to size obviously this is too long for a door but this was five pounds i'm gonna install this this week probably tomorrow this is my other dunelm parcel i will go and show you what what was in it right now the first thing was just um a fitted sheet so just a white fitted sheet and just literally a plain white simple duvet cover set with pillowcases this is just their basic my gosh the light shining on it is terrible this is just a basic white duvet set and for all those that have a car i actually um saw this in aldi apparently it's supposed to stop your wind mirror fogging up but you can use it on mirrors as well so i guess you can use it in the bathroom but i thought this was cool when we do get a chance to give it a go i'll let you know how and if it works i also forgot to show you guys look at my basket i am in love i actually got this a few weeks ago i just forgot to show you guys i was gonna do a proper haul but i guess this is the haul now i don't know but <clears throat> i got this laundry basket from Dunelm. it's in the boxing day sale obviously i'm not gonna open it because there's dirty laundry in there but i love it it was a little bit more expensive than your average laundry basket however it's not plastic and i feel like all the plastic ones just looked so tacky this is literally like fabric it's cable knitted and it's just so gorgeous and it's just got like i don't know if i can show you yeah like a metal frame and it's just if that doesn't scream luxury i don't know what is but i actually came out here to show you guys what i got in Dunelm that i now have four of it's these soap hand soap pumps or whatever they're called and they're ribbed glass tell me they're not gorgeous tell me they are not gorgeous and it goes with my sort of decor because i have black accents in the bathroom and stuff like that i am obsessed i've already filled this one up with hand soap and i'm going to keep the hand soap clear in these actually the hand soap i'm loving using at the moment is the minimal it's a new brand which is eco-friendly and vegan and 
all of their stuff is just amazing it's made in the uk i've got a cucumber and aloe vera hand soap which i've tried the tester of and it smells absolutely divine like i love it so much so i've ordered the refill i am changing the decor in here so this is the old candle that i made in my testing phase it's actually still got can't even open the lid oh my gosh it's still got wax in there so i need to clean it out but my plan is to use this for like cotton buds and then i've got a smaller candle which i'm going to clean out and put here and actually refill it as a candle so we're doing little revamps around here little revamps oh, i had an amazon package so show so i thought we could open it together i do know what i ordered I was about to say I don't remember what I ordered, but I do remember what I ordered. It's got more colour catches. This is the 60 pack. Um, and I got a three pack of black, black soap, which I use to wash my face every single day. I have been for like, since before I got married. So five, maybe six years. I've been using this every day in the morning to wash my face. And I just love it so much. Right, I need to get off my lazy butt and i need to do something like it's actually five o'clock i've been home since like two and i've done nothing i haven't even made a list i said to myself i'm gonna make a list of all the things that i want to get and i need to get done today and i haven't done that but i do kind of know what i want to do so i'm just going to get on with it first things first is probably the laundry because like i showed you guys yesterday it's a hot mess as my living room is a hot mess but i got a delivery today and i'm so i even forgot it was coming i purchased it but i forgot it was coming i just got myself some more minimal products so this is just the refill for the washing up liquid and for four pound actually that is quite you know generous i think and then i got the hand soap which i don't need to use right now feels like it's leaked a bit i don't need to use right now but this will go in my stash. But this I need to use because I need to refill my wash up liquid. I don't know how long it's been since the last clip. I've made progress but I got massively distracted and now I've like sorted out all of my drawers. I've got this massive pile of clothes, all these clothes here. I am actually just gonna get rid of them. Um, I don't think any of them are good for resale to be honest. Maybe there's like one pair of trousers that would be good to resell but apart from that I'm just gonna get rid of the rest of them and because they're old or stained or just branded t-shirts that i can't give or sell to anyone and yeah so it's taken me a long time to get through this laundry because i've just went off on a tangent and just cleaned out my drawers but it was a pending job so i'm kind of happy that i got it done even though that wasn't the plan so i just need to finish cleaning up all of this stuff here fold the towels put them away and then the laundry is done um and then i'm gonna go sort put dinner on because hubby just got home put dinner on and then sort out that other cupboard while dinner's cooking because the stuff is all over the side and i just need to get it all put back away vlog when i realized i don't think i finished off this one so i just want to say thank you to everyone who's been watching i'm trying to put effort into filming these vlogs for you guys so if you've got this far if you've reached the end thank you so much for watching this vlog and i hope to see you in the next one have a wonderful wonderful day